So, welcome to session two of our marriage officer training. My name is Fiona Marn and I am the Registration Service Standards and Monitoring Officer and I'm absolutely delighted that you are able to join us for this season of ceremonies. In session one, Julie described who we are, what we do, and she explained how we work within a legal framework. And she explained how you, as a marriage officer, have responsibilities within that framework. One of your main responsibilities is to create an accurate registration of that ceremony. And one of the first steps in creating that accurate registration is comes in the information that is obtained from a document called a blue. And these blues are very vital in our world um, because they contain all of that information that we need prior to a wedding. On the screen behind me, I have an example of a blue, but in real life, and you will have some of these in your pack, these are called blues because they are printed on blue paper. Um, the official name for the document is Certificate for Marriage. Um, but as I say, in our world, they're just called blues. And so that's as we know them. So these blues um, contain several different bits of information. They contain information about the preliminaries that people go through prior to the marriage. They contain information about the person who's going to be married. And they contain information about the venue for marriage. So I'm going to talk you through those three different sections that are on this example blue. The blue itself is produced following an appointment that the couple have, or that the individual has, with their local registrar. And that appointment is called a notice for marriage. Um, that is the legal preliminaries, so it's the um, civil equivalent of uh, calling the bands in church. So, following that appointment, um, I am able to see on here that the gentleman whose document this is, so this document belongs to a gentleman called John Henry Cooper, uh, you will see a copy of this in your pack. You've probably got about, I think, eight different um, couples blues, so you'll be able to go through those and, and have a little look through. This one is John Henry Cooper, as I say, and John saw the registrar in the district of Cheshire East on the 20th of February 2020. John has lived in Cheshire East for more than a month, and John is a British national. This certificate to say that John could be married was issued on the 20th of March 2020 and the certificate expires on the 20th of February 2021. And we know that this certificate expires on that date because it says the marriage must be solemnised on or before the 20th of February 2021. So if John wanted to get married on the 23rd of February 2021, he'd have to go and see the registrar in his local office and do it all over again. So that's the first lot of information that the Blues tell us. So as I say, all about the couple doing their legal preliminaries, because this is the certificate for marriage, which shows that the couple can legally be married. The second bit of information that this document tells us is where and when the couple are due to be married. So we can see from John's document that he is due to be married at Adlington Hall, and Adlington Hall is on Mill Lane in Adlington, which is near Macclesfield. Lovely venue, um, just up there. Um, gorgeous gardens. 
So, and we can also see, as well as being married at Adlington Hall, that they're due to be married on the 1st of June 2020 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The date and time may differ, the venue will not differ. So the venue where the couple are being married has to be the venue that is on the blue. So that's the second bit of information that we have from the blues. So first information was the information about the legal preliminaries. Second bit of information was about the venue for marriage. The third bit of information, and possibly the most important, is the information it gives us about the couple. So, for each ceremony, you will have two blues. You will have one for the groom and one for the bride. Obviously, if you have two grooms, you'll have two grooms. If you have two brides, you'll have two brides. Um, in this case, we have one for the groom and one for the bride. In your pack, you have both blues. You have the blue for John and you have the blue for Patricia. So, the one on the screen here tells me that... The gentleman to be married is John Henry Cooper. He wishes to marry Patricia Mary Penkethman. This document also tells me their age. This is their age at the date, the time, the date that was it, this certificate was issued. So John, 40 years old. Patricia, 30 years old. This document tells me John's condition. So John's previous marriage was dissolved and previous marriage dissolved is registration service speak for divorced. Um, so if you see previous marriage dissolved on there, that's all that is. Mary, on the other hand, is single, so she's never been through any form of marriage or civil partnership before in this or any other country. John's occupation is gynaecology consultant and Mary is a registered general nurse. They're both living at Horseshoe House 50 The Paddock Prestbury Macclesfield and their postcode SK101AA. So I've already described the period of residence, how that was to do with the legal preliminaries told you about the information in column 7 here which is the venue for marriage and then the information in column 8 is again to do with the legal preliminaries. So this is John's blue. In your pack as I've said you've got blues for John and Patricia. So Patricia's blue has Patricia's information along the top row here and John's information down the bottom row. The other information that you may see on here, um, some blues will have it, some blues won't, is a bit of information down here about the bride, well in this instance the groom's father. This box on this one is blank, um, but we will come to that um, in one of the further sessions when we go on to look at um, actually registering the marriage and asking the questions and taking the information from the couple. So we'll come to that um, in session three. So just um, in conclusion, you will have a blue for each person that is going to be married that day. It gives you the information about the preliminaries for marriage. It gives you information about the venue. And it gives you information about the couple, so names and addresses and things. And this is what tells you that they have done those legal preliminaries and that they can be married. Have a look in your pack, study the documents that you've got, go through the blues, see what's the same on all of them, see what's different on some of them. There will be similarities, there will be differences. Um, we've put quite a range of examples on there for you to have a little look at. Um, and that was session two. In session three, we will look at how to use the information contained on the blues um, and how that will help you fulfil your statutory duty at a ceremony. Thank you.